Okay. Hi guys, Retro Django here. In today's video, we're gonna check out this little X, or I mean this big, big accelerator card called Mega Midget Razor. Razor, uh, computer system accessories, serial number SA2110, 3B, designed by Stephen L. <laughs> Stephen Larry. All right, so we, <laughs> this one is clearly made for the Amiga 2000. It's not made for the Amiga 500 as I can see. Yes, it works, but as you can see, I don't think I can have a keyboard here. Also, we have one cap that I needed to put a piece of paper, but it doesn't touch anything, but it's it has got two millimeters before touching a cap, uh, just like this one over here. It's located about here, down under. Um, but it's made for the Amiga 2000. Okay, neat system, it boots. This is the first test. We have a manual. We have a floppy disk that says CSA. The Amiga, uh, the manual here also says CSA computer system. Nice midget razor manual. Installation in the Amiga 500 and in the Amiga 2000. CSA Mega Memory 32-bit DRAM Darn it, board. Darn it. <laughs> Uh, warranty 32-bit expansion bus coprocessor the 882 speed up to 50 megahertz the FPU says 882 40 megahertz oh man this is cool the mega midget razor can crush 1 million floating point operations flops in 2.7 seconds yes 90 day warranty repair 68030 uh, yeah this is the first time in my life I'm reading a manual very nice very nice replace the 030 68000 processor with the 030 512 kilobytes of SRAM those four empty sockets can have half megabyte of fast RAM. This board, an O30 board with no fast RAM, this, this board has only two megabytes of chip RAM. And having an, an, an accelerator, well, it's on, I can feel it. Having an O30 board with no fast RAM is like, <laughs> you gain nothing, absolutely nothing. So it needs to have some RAM, guys. But it's all cool because I got this with an Amiga 2000 that had eight megabytes of fast RAM uh, installed. So in another video, I will uh, put this in my Amiga 2000 with eight megabytes of RAM and we're gonna push it to the limit. Right now in this video, part one, I just wanna test if it works, but we have a screen, we have some jumpers, Verifying 512 kilobyte jumper, e-sync jumper. It says something like remove. Look at this. It says remove e-sync jumper after installing your 68000. Where is the e-sync jumper now? Oh, it's here and it's removed. That's nice. 512. OSC. <laughs> wow, I like it. I like it, man. I really, really do. Um, so I posted this on the Commodore Amiga page. And one guy, I don't want to mention his name. He said that it was absolutely worthless. But uh, I don't know. Not for me. We're all different. I don't want to mention no names. But for me, Every old hardware for the Amiga that works. It's just, it's priceless. It's so cool. I have no usage for it, but I want to document it and have it on YouTube. That's my purpose with all these Amiga videos. I want to have as much Amiga hardware on YouTube as possible. Um, and this is just awesome. How do I install it in the Amiga 500? 
could be a good idea if I did read this first. <laughs> but I'm the kind of guy that never reads manuals. I just do it, plug and play, install it, no one cares. Put it in, put it in, let me begin. Oh yes, instructions, so many warnings. 32-bit DRAM, oh my sweet mother of candy flush. How fast the RAMs are. 256KX4 DRAM, 1MX4 DRAM. So you can have two different RAM models. This is the door board. Oh, nice. I'm looking for some pictures also. Fast RAM card. 32 bit memory. Nice. This is the O30, guys. So it's not a 16 bit. This is the Amiga 500. It's a 32 bit system now. Switch. Oh, you can uh, take D cache, I cache on and off. Nice. You can run that off. 20. 68,000 switch CPU. Oh, that, that must be the uh, floppy disk if it works. Oh, here it is. Remove eSync jumper if 16,000 is installed. And it's installed right over here. Oh, that's nice. All right, guys. So we have been reading the manual now. Oh, 500k SRAM, $400? Are you guys freaking kidding me? We have got something here. Terms and conditions. Nice. So beautiful. Oh, what is this? Oh man. This is how you installed it in the Amiga 2000. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. All right, guys. So it works. That's cool. Let's just. Um, I haven't installed the keyboard here. That's because I think it will hit the corner up here. I'm not sure. That's why I have no uh, Turbo Fire videos for my Amiga 500. And I have nothing against Turbo Fire products. I have uh, filmed on my CD32 and my Amiga 1200. But on the Amiga 500, you need to have a uh, adapter and my OCD triggers. If I need to put a converter adapter first on the 68,000 socket and then have another board hanging up here, that just stuff like that destroys everything for me. Why don't you just design the Terrible Fire card so it just fits and the PCB is up here or something without all the adaption stuff? So that's why. And um, here, I think the keyboard will hit. I'm not sure, guys. For you guys, I will make a little test here and see what's gonna happen down there. Oh, it doesn't hit, but it's so close. It doesn't even hit the 68,000 CPU. You can use it in the Mega 500, but um, I would put some sort of tape here, electrical tape here or something, or down on the, the keyboard, but yeah, it is what it is. Usually, it has got this one uh, cap down here. If I desoldered it and took some one with longer legs and I pulled it down, then this one would go lower because as it was, it didn't fit here, but down here you can't Probably, you can probably not see it, but here I have got another uh, 68,000 socket. So I put that in, so this card came up a bit higher up, and now it fits and it boots with it. I don't know if it just boots with the 68,000 or if it boots as an O30. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we have a picture, guys. We have a picture. Uh, yes! CPU 68030, FPU 68882, CSA 32-bit SRAM installed, fail test because all blocks are empty, it's not installed. CSA Midget Razor configuration complete, Workbench 1.3. This one has got the 3.1 installed. I think most of my Amigas has got that. Um, and that's just great. And it says, uh, RAM has failed because no RAM is installed. 
Yeah, we just have, this is the Amiga 500 Plus with two megabytes of, there we go. Amiga 500 Plus with two megabytes of um, chip RAM and zero megabyte of fast RAM. So this is the original driver disk that came with this beautiful manual for the midget. And um, inside the disk we have got a drawer called CSA. And we can, yeah, we can switch iCache, Dcache, switch CPU. CPU status, let's see what the status is. It's an 030 and iCache, Dcache, burst, everything is off. And it runs and the FPU is on. Hey, FPU is getting a bit hot. I can feel it. The 6030 is a bit hotter. That's so beautiful. So I can switch to an... Uh, maybe if I take switch CPU, I switch the CPU and what happened? Did it software wise disable the 030 or what? Let's see what's gonna happen. We entered the switch CPU. <laughs> uh, oh yes, <laughs> look at this. It turned off the FPU <laughs> and it runs as an old 68,000 system now. How cool is this, man? Wow, it works. Can you see the card down there? Oh man, it's so cool. All right, all right, all right. It works, the floppy disk works. It's just, let's document this beauty also. It's great, great stuff. So guys, this is just going to be part one. Thank you for watching part one. I hope you enjoyed this. I think it's awesome. Now we have documented one more Amiga product. I think it's so cool. That's just 60,000 lips. Kickstart 2.0 or newer. Yes, a patch executed. Noise. Um, so wait for uh, maybe a part two when I install this in Amiga 2000 with 8 megabytes of fast RAM and we're just gonna enjoy this beauty. Is it a keeper? No. If you wanna buy it, if you have something cool you want to trade with me so I can have that and document it on, um, on YouTube, I would be happy to do so. Uh, so just contact me if you're interested in this beauty, guys. It's, it's uh, oh, 68030882 MMU, uh, 030 in use. I wanna say, have a great day out there and enjoy your Amigas. Just like me, guys, I'm enjoying these beauties. Oh man, and bot brain. If you put in disk one, it just boots and you will see the demo. But if you start with boot, uh, bot brain disk, was it disk one, disk two, was it? Yeah, look at this. I inserted disk two and I will get the loading music. And when I was a kid, I was just a huge fan of this beat. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. This was the, let's get some lights here. Aziz light, oh yes. Look at this beauty. Hey, look at the battery area <laughs> on my motherboard. This one doesn't have a battery area. Very, very cool stuff. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Retro Django out.